So I'm headed back to South Carolina and I've stopped off at this North Carolina Welcome Center. You know, the whole point in this Welcome Center is obviously to welcome you to this new state as you're passing through it. But it helps point you toward the direction so that you maximize your time while you're passing through this state. Things to do, places to see, things like that. You know, to be able to get the most out of your journey as you journey through this new state. Jesus does the same thing in John chapter 10 as we look at that today in our 10th day of our 21 days together in the book of John. So in John 10, once again, Jesus is having another conversation with the Pharisees. And once again, they ain't listening to anything he's got to say. But check this out, because when Jesus is talking to them, you have to understand that when Jesus speaks, he's not just speaking in the moment. He's speaking into eternity. Okay, Jesus' words carries with them so much life that he can be looking at the eyes of the Pharisees when he says these words. But he's not just speaking to the Pharisees. His word carries so much life that they pass through generations and generations to, to the point that it gets to right here, right now, where you are. And if you look at something like John 10.10, 10, Jesus would have been looking at the Pharisees when he said these words. He said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy but I've come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. And so he wasn't just talking to them. He was talking to you. He, his word is so powerful and so full of life that it surpasses all the generations, all of the issues, all of the stumbling blocks, all of the things that could go wrong in your life, all the things that could prevent you from hearing have led you to this point right now where you're hearing this right now and you're hearing the very abundant life that Jesus was speaking all the way back then through the generations and it's made its way to you and it's not done yet. You see, Jesus is like that welcome center, just like I'm sitting at right now, that welcomes us to come to transition into this new state, this new place, if you will, to be able to point us in a direction so that we can maximize our time in this new state that we are in, to be able to get the most out of it, to, to be able to, to, to connect to the things that he wants us to connect to that leads us to abundant life. And listen, abundant life has nothing to do with material things. It has nothing to do with money. The older I get, the less I care about those things because I am finding more life in Jesus than I have anything that I've ever tried. And see, that's the thing. He says you might have life. All of us are looking for life, but life is only found in the hands of Jesus. And that is the difference between all of us is we will find it there. And he says, you might have life and you will have it more abundantly. So if I find Jesus, I'll find life. And if I continue to grow in that relationship with him, I'll find abundant life. And I'm not going to have to wait to heaven to go ahead and get that life. Yes, this is a very difficult place to live. Yes, it can be very hard, but I don't believe that we're just tired and weary soldiers going through a dreary land. I believe we are more than conquerors. And when we access that abundant life that he offers us right now, right here, that we're warming up for eternity and everybody else gets to watch while you warm up and you spew over with life abundant that only Jesus can offer. Love you guys.